live now. Should be live. Yep, we're live. Okay. So the relationship to prayer and uh, non-duality. Okay. So uh, I'll, I'll explain it simplistically because in truth, the Course in Miracles would say, and I'd agree, is there is no such thing as separation or duality. There is no such thing as a separate me that needs to pray to a separate God in the Absolute Truth. Mm. Okay, so Absolute Truth would be oneness, non-dual, infinite. You know, all those words would just oneness, all of those would be along the same, similar lines. And the other, the other end would be uh, the experiencing of separation or, you know, the experience that I'm a separated me with my separated thoughts and my separated body, relating to other separated bodies and praying to, um, praying to a God out there. Okay, so, um, so the thing is uh, with that is that um, in the in the beginning, when I you know like some of the beginning lessons in the Course in Miracles, God is the love in which I forgive you, or what, whatever it is. So when uh, when um, when uh, so in the beginning, if you, you it does work. So if I pray to God to release, to forgive, to help me to forgive someone, then that will start to dissolve my ego, very very slowly. And uh, the more I pray, the more that dissolving will happen. And it's like there's an infinite wisdom. There's an infinite wisdom in the universe which is like dissolving, uh, which is dissolving the, the ego. So when, when, so as you keep, as you keep uh, dissolving stuff, that, that, that's separated. And as long as you need to do that, the separated ego needs to pray to a separated uh, uh, God, that will work and that will start to dissolve. Dear God, help me to release my anger at whatever or forgive this person. Later on, some of the statements in A Course in Miracles become more non-dualistic. So they're, they're more like, you know, um, uh, they more describe the, the truth that I, I'm eternal or I'm infinite or I am the light of the world. More they're talking what I call the infinite eye. You know, so I, you know, there's the I, the separated I, and then I am the light of the world, or I am the infinite. So Meaning, is, is is the is the is yes, is the self with the capital S. So then it's like affirming that there is no separation, there is no separated God, there's just uh, the oneness. So those statements are more less duali less non-dualistic, and they're more like um, uh, they're more du uh, yeah. They go from a dualistic to non-dualistic statements to support so that the ego doesn't hold on to the separated sense of self. And then after that's released, then it's not, there's no longer any requirements. So the last the lesson in The Course in Miracles is forget it all because you're now in the infinite state and you don't need to be making statements or affirmations to be the non-dual. Does that, does that make sense? Definitely. Yep. It does. Yeah. Okay. Cool.